Welcome back everyone. I'll go and show you exactly how to fix your iPhone if for some reason it's just not responding to touch screen. Now this can happen for a couple of different reasons as always. The first thing I'd recommend doing is to actually see what type of iPhone you have. Obviously this one's an iPhone 10. If you have a severely old iPhone, there are some times where the digitizer and the touch screen may not work anymore, but if it's an iPhone within the last like five, six, seven years, you should be good to go for the most part. Now, if your iPhone is frozen and usually the touchscreen is working, but the phone is just randomly just not working at all, it's just frozen. Well, in that specific case, you may actually want to go ahead and hard reboot your device. So to do this, what you want to do is you want to find the volume buttons of your iPhone. Typically, what I do is I hold the volume down button and I hold the power button as well. And I just keep holding them down for the most part until I get into this panel. And if your phone does go into here, that may be a little weird, but what you want to do is you want to keep holding it until your iPhone fully boots over. So you just want to keep holding it and your iPhone will eventually restart by itself. And at some point, it typically takes a little bit longer than this, I guess. Sometimes you can't even hold the volume up button and the power button as well. Sometimes that may do it as well. So you just want to keep holding these buttons until your phone boots and reboots itself. And at some point sooner than later, your phone will actually reboot and you want to see if that ended up fixing the problem. Now it's not a guarantee, but it is just another thing that I've done in my, you know, my couple of you know years ago, if I ran into this issue, it's another one of those things that I would do and I'd recommend you guys to do it as well. Now for some reason that doesn't work, the next thing I'd recommend doing is to pretty much leave your iPhone on until it fully powers off. So if your iPhone does not even allow you to reboot itself, just leave your iPhone unplugged and let it sit there until it fully dies. You can try plugging it back in and see if that works. If that does work, then you know, you're pretty much set. If that still doesn't work and your iPhone doesn't allow you to you know, register the touches or anything like that, you may actually have a touch screen problem with your iPhone. So what you can do in that situation is to actually reach out to Apple and Apple support and have them take a look at your iPhone. You can also send your iPhone over to them and have them fix it, take a look at it, and that may end up fixing it for you. Again, it's not a guarantee, but it's just another thing you can do to pretty much fix this issue. So that's pretty much it. A couple of different things you can do. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.